Federal agents joined local police overnight at the home of a federal judge in New Jersey, where a gunman killed the judge's son and injured her husband. Police say the gunman was dressed as a FedEx delivery worker when he opened fire as the son of 20, the 20 year old son of U.S. District Judge Esther Salas opened the door. Gunshots injured the judge's husband. The judge was in another part of the house and was not hurt, and that gunman took off. Investigators are not speculating about a motive. Now to the raging debate over face masks. A growing number of states and now retailers here in the U.S. are requiring masks be worn while out in public or shopping. And as Morgan Chesky shows us, the nation's largest retailer joins that list today. Shoppers at Walmart and Sam's Club now required to wear masks at stores nationwide. The move, the latest attempt from a growing list of national retailers to slow the spread of COVID-19. As Lowe's, Walgreens, CVS, and Kohl's are also requiring masks starting today. I don't really see any good reason not to wear a mask. But nearly six months into the pandemic, Americans are still divided on calls to mask up. I think it's totally absurd that they would make you and force you to wear a mask. As rules over face coverings at times lead to face offs. <laughs> We're calling the police. Call them. Call now, President Trump telling Fox News Sunday he would not support a national mask policy. No, I want people to have a certain freedom, and I don't believe in that, no. And I don't agree with the statement that if everybody wear a mask, everything disappears. With that being said, I'm a believer in masks. I think masks are good, but uh, I leave it up to the governors. The president's message comes as his own top medical experts urge sweeping mask usage. All Americans need to recognize it's up to us. Wear a mask when you're out of your house. Still, 22 states have not issued a statewide mask mandate.